Hey, welcome to PCDailyTips.com. In today's video, I'm going to share my um, tips about too many authentication failures for username. If you want to transfer files or to use rsync features uh, in your web hosting, I use HostGator uh, for this video, and somehow I use uh, I wanted to deploy my site with rsync, and it says too many authentication failures here for my username, as you can see in these pictures in my terminal. So uh, if I open my terminal, uh, if I want to log into my um, web server, I'm going to use the command, uh, this one, so I use shh and then ssh and then minus p and then the port and my username and uh, the host and I hit return. It will say again that too many authentication failures for my username and then I try using this command. So I actually copy it from a website from the andystraton.com. I use this uh, to replace my username and the IP address. And if I do that and then I hit a return and then it will ask me for my password and I can log in. But what I want is I want to deploy my site, so it's not really useful uh, that I can log in because I, when I exit now and I want to go to my um, website. So let me now uh, go back to my local machine and I want to uh, deploy one of my Octopress websites. So I'm going to just uh, type in rake, um, gen rake deploy. So it's saying that I'm going to display uh, to deploying my site with rsync and it says that too many authentication failures still even I can log into my um, web server through um, using this command so uh, I did fix it this way so also a lot of resources here that you can read and I'm I did fix it by reading this ex uh, this um, resources and especially this point too so um, I attempt to use the max auth tries in uh, inside this uh, uh, config file, but it's because it's not recommended, so I didn't do it. Actually, this is the easiest, but I didn't do it. So I hope this video really can speed you up how you can fix it if you have this problem that you can actually log in, but you you cannot do anything fi via rsync. So what you can do is you go to um, go back to going to minimize my terminal and go to Finder. And here you're going to hit uh, command and shift and G or you go to go and then um, go to folder. So let's do that in an easy way. So go and then go to folder and then you're going to type in tilde and slash and then dot ssh to uh, that. So I'm going to hit go now. So what you can do is you're going to create new file here. So you can use text edit. Now I'm going to create new file in text edit new and I'm going to name it as uh, config. Uh, sorry, I mean to name to save this file as config. So t save it in your desktop first. So configs, and uh, because now it used txt, so I'm just going to hit save. So I save it configs to dot txt in my desktop, and then um, go to this superuser.com, and then you can copy all of this. Actually, this is uh, what uh, solves the problem. So. Um, paste it here. So now what we can um, modify is that use your host. So mine, my host is, uh, my domain is actually wbhowtosite.com. So make sure that you already upload your key, uh, your public key in my host. So I did already upload my key and I did upload the id underscore dsa, DSA dot pop. So um, as you can see now we have to change this. So uh, to 18, 18 ttai file or whatever how it's spelled and then um, use this so change it with your uploaded key so I did upload this so that's why I'm going to uh, copy this name so id and then underscore dsa because I use this dot public key uh, already in my host so make sure what kind of key you already uploaded in your host and then uh, I did already this one and and let everything by default and then now we're going to um, to save our file so save it and it's safe 
inside config.dxd and then the next is we go to our desktop where we save our uh, config.dxd file. So I'm going to open a new tab in my desktop. So there it is and I'm going to uh, drag and drop here inside our .ssh or drag it and drop it there our configs.txt and then rename it remove the .txt extension and hit enter and hit remove so now it says that config is uh, already there with our .txt file we go back to our terminal again and let's rake uh, deploy again and it, and it will be successful so um, it's not successful uh, so we're going to copy this to uh, clean the identities so go back to our terminal again paste that so now it's all removed and use deploy again and it's still um, too many authentication failures so we go back to our finder again and um, open with text edit the config and then we need to edit it again so let's try without www so like this and hit save and then close the config file again and then go back to our terminal again and uh, choose SHH and then um, test add and then test D and then hit enter and now it's all removed and then let's try right deploy again so there it is now I can deploy my uh, site with rsync so uh, I hope this will help you uh, and speed up your uh, solution if you also look into the same problem. So that's it guys and thank you for watching. Goodbye!